Welcome to the official personality guru. When it comes to emotions, the ENFJ does value them deeply, but they often connect with them differently than some other feeling types. The important thing to consider is what type of feeling function they use and what their reasoning for this is. For the ENFJ, emotions are something to value and always take into account, but it is often focused on the emotions of others. Inner feelings can be a different story for them, and the whole process is unique to them and how they respond to others. Today, let's talk about the ENFJ feelings and emotions, how the ENFJ handles inner feelings. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. In a relationship, ENFJs tend to be warm and caring. They're likely to focus on their partner's happiness as much as their own. They want to see their partner achieve personal goals and they'll do whatever they can to help with this. Their intuitive, forward-thinking nature means they often know exactly what their partner needs and when they need it. People with ENFJ preferences are incredibly concerned with harmony. This makes them selective when it comes to choosing a partner and determined to create a sturdy foundation once they enter into a relationship. Because it may take them a while to open up about their feelings, they'll probably only enter a relationship for the long haul. In love, ENFJs are the ultimate cheerleaders. They will always encourage their partners to go for the goals and try to help them get what they want out of life. While this may be too much for some people, ENFJs are caring and intuitive partners. On the other hand, they may struggle to ask for what they need. So, the right romantic partner for an ENFJ will be someone who can get them to open up about their own needs. Like their INFJ cousins, ENFJs are blessed through introverted intuition with clarity of perception in the inner, unconscious world. Dominant feeling prefers to find the silver lining in even the most beggarly perceptions of those in their expanding circle of friends, and of course, in themselves. In less balanced individuals, such mitigation of the unseemly eventually undermines the ENFJ's integrity and frequently their good name. In healthier individuals, deft use of this awareness of the inner needs and desires of others enables this astute type to win friends, influence people, and avoid compromising entanglements. The dynamic nature of their intuition moves ENFJs from one project to another with the assurance that the next one will be perfect, or much more nearly so than the last. ENFJs are continually looking for newer and better solutions to benefit their extensive family, staff, or organization. Sensing is extroverted. ENFJs can manage details, particularly those necessary to implement the prevailing vision. These data have, however, a magical flexible quality. Something to be bought can be had for a song. The same something is invaluable when it's time to sell. We are not certain, but we suspect that such is the influence of the primary function. This wavering of sensory perception is made possible by the weaker and less mature status with which the tertiary is endowed. ENFJs are the benevolent pedagogues of humanity. They have tremendous charismas by which many are drawn into their nurturant totalage and or grand schemes. Many NFJs have tremendous power to manipulate others with their phenomenal interpersonal skills and unique salesmanship but it's usually not meant as manipulation. ENFJs generally believe in their dreams and see themselves as helpers and enablers, which they usually are. ENFJs are global learners. They see the big picture. The ENFJs' focus is expansive. Some can juggle an amazing number of responsibilities or projects simultaneously. Many ENFJs have the tremendous entrepreneurial ability. ENFJs are, by definition, Jays, with whom we associate organization and decisiveness, but they don't resemble the SJs or even the DJs in the organization of the environment or occasional recalcitrants. ENFJs are organized in the arena of interpersonal affairs. Their offices may or may not be cluttered, but their conclusions reach through feelings about people and motives are drawn much more quickly and are more resilient than those of their INFP 
and counterparts. ENFJs know and appreciate people. Like most NFs and feelers in general, they are apt to neglect themselves and their own needs for the needs of others. They have inner psychological boundaries than most and are at risk of being hurt or even abused by less sensitive people. ENFJs often take on more of the burdens of others than they can bear. Their dominant function. The dominant function of the ENFJ is their FE or extroverted feeling which focuses on the emotions of others. For the ENFJ, emotions are deeply important, but they are drawn to focusing on those around them. They are in tune with the feelings of other people and can often get a strong sense of what they are experiencing just by being around them. They combine this with their natural intuitive function, and this helps them to understand people better. For the NFJ, the emotions of others are truly important and valuable for them. They want to know how to help people, and so connecting to their feelings is vital. NFJs naturally feel a strong sense of the emotions of others. Even if they wanted to ignore this, it would be nearly impossible for them. Even if the ENFJ isn't actively trying to understand how others are feeling, it is something that comes to them subconsciously. At the same time, this causes ENFJs to care deeply about those around them, wanting to do what they can to improve their situations. They want to find the best means of relieving stress from others and want to help their loved ones find happiness. ENFJs will work hard to provide for others and ensure that they are happy and cared for. They spend a lot of their own time and energy working to tend to the needs of their loved ones since they care about their feelings and want to always be considerate of them. Being that their dominant function is connected to feelings and emotions, the NFJ holds a deep value for them. They prioritize the emotions of others over many things. Even though they are logical people, ENFJs are often good at seeing the more logical result of a situation. But at the same time, ENFJs don't prioritize this logic when someone's feelings are at risk. They care more about ensuring the happiness of others and often feel that this is more important when it comes to making decisions and choices in life. How about you as an ENFJ or any other personality type? How do you handle your inner feelings? or emotions. Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. How they process their own emotions. While ENFJs are natural when it comes to the emotions of others, their feelings can be a bit different. It's challenging for them to process their feelings a lot of the time since they are used to tending to the needs of others. When it comes to their inner emotions, the ENFJ can be uneasy about really processing these feelings. It can make them nervous when they have to dive into their own emotions and try to understand themselves better in this way. This is because they process their thoughts and feelings based on the needs and emotions of others. The ENFJs care so much about making others feel better that they don't find it natural to focus on their feelings. The ENFJs can also use the emotions of others to deflect from focusing on their feelings. They become so caught up in caring for those around them. So, tending to their feelings can be challenging and confusing. Being used to caring for others causes the ENFJ to feel stressed when someone wants them to focus inward. This is foreign to them most of the time and can feel selfish as well. When it comes to diving into their feelings, the ENFJ can feel like this is selfish and will try to avoid it. For them, it is more comfortable to tend to others and so they can be deeply hesitant when it comes to their inner emotions. It can be confusing for the NFJ sometimes when they are forced into self-reflection since this is now new territory for them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. They feel guilty. ENFJs aren't often comfortable spending too much time focusing on their own emotions. Since this can cause them to feel a sense of guilt, when they prioritize their own emotions over the emotions of others, it leaves them feeling like they have made a mistake. They want to be able to help people and when they put themselves first, it really can give them a strong feeling of guilt. We often feel bad about prioritizing their feelings and needs, which is why they can neglect them so often. The NFJs put others first and when they take time to process and focus on their inner feelings, it causes them to feel bad about this. They feel like they should be putting someone else first and stop focusing inward. This can cause the NFJ to spend too much time pushing aside their own emotions, which can cause them to fester and build up inside of them. Their feelings become neglected and pushed aside, which is something that can be stressful for the ENFJ later on. They do need to learn to look inward, sometimes intend to their desires to care for others the way they want to.